All right, now it's time it to unveil this mistress so that we may kiss her, kiss the bride. Well, you're not supposed to because well, we, don't a, we don't have a safety screen. Yeah, so we're just trying not to kiss this, shall we? Oh man, it feels very smooth under here. Uh, not smooth, but... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> shut up, shut up. Here we go. It's pretty. I think you already knew that, though. Give it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so... Let's talk about the the parts of the Vita here. You'll, first of all, you'll see this huge screen here. It's bigger than a... Actually, let's take off the the uh, Nintendo 3DS so we can verify the size. Uh, verify here. And there we go. And you can see, I could... Wait, don't put it on it. <laughs> oh, you just got it, you... Okay, you can see that the, the pretty much the screen is almost the size of the, of the 3DS right now. And... Uh, Besides that, of course, when you open up the 3DS, you'll see, uh, not only you'll see the screen turn back on, because I actually have it in sleep mode, but besides the point, the uh, system is... What uh, thickness? It's uh, actually about the same exact thickness, outside of those thumbsticks to the side. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, maybe. Uh, there's, actually, yeah, it looks pretty much bigger overall. Uh, so we'll get pretty much to all, all the comparisons. So, you know, we don't have a PSP, We sadly, don't have a PSP. Which is very really disappointing because there's a lot of games on yeah, the PSP it's actually, it's actually beneficial that we got the Vita because now we can play a number of places. Not all of them, games. though. But not all of them. Anyway, here you'll see the big thing here is the touch screen here. This is a touch screen, an LED screen, which is very bright and also will allow multiple touch screens as opposed to the 3DS. Multiple yes, touches. Multiple touches. Did I say multiple touch screens? Yes. Okay, whatever. It's got three touch screens. It's three touch screens in it. It's actually allows... It's sunroof. It's a touchception, as they say. Uh, and as you can see, we have the button here for the... Uh, home. For the home button. you got the start and select over here. You have two thumbsticks. These are different from the, the uh, circle pad for the 3DS, which uh, I'll briefly show right there. There it is. Yeah, see, see? And... Uh, that uh, is a little bit different. This actually feels a lot more like an actual, they're actual analog yeah. stick. And they're short enough, though, they won't be crushed by anything. Too and they're, little, they're a little bit small. They're, they're quite I really small. hope they make like, an like, attachment or something yeah. and make them bigger. Uh, you can see there's the usual D-pad is the main held, and they also have the main control system. Buttons know, are very clicky, buttons. much like the original DS yep. Is there anything under here? Because I can't see it. Uh, yes. We have, uh, that's the charge slot where you plug it in, and there's a headphone jack. Oh, good. And also uh, barcodes. Uh, barcodes, which uh, means something. And a number there which means what number it is. Okay, you'll also see uh, there's also like a thing here to tell you it's the LED, to tell you it's on, got the RNL buttons up at the top, which are a little uh, thin. And you also have here, you have what appears to be the power button, the actual PlayStation Vita game uh, car, uh, set card in there. Slot. Slot. Yes, thanks, Tony. My vocabulary has died, it seems, holding this thing. You spent so much, so much money that so you So much lost money, it. I just feel so... Uh, but here you can see there's a... Uh, this is, where I think, where the uh, actual... SD card goes. I'll have to check that out. Um, the volume here and the back. The back is very important because it's where the innovation really gets, comes into play. Here you'll see there's a the camera in the back. There's also a camera in the front. There's also a camera in the front. I don't see the camera in the front. There's a camera in the front. Magic. And then there's also a touch screen here. You, this is really interesting. It's not really a screen. It's a touch pad that's exactly the same uh, size as the actual screen itself. So ultimately you can have Two different. You can actually grip the screen on both sides if you wanted to. There's um, actually some uh, games that use a like a pinch yeah, feature, yeah. but we didn't we didn't get that. Mm -hmm. game, so. so anyway, that is all the features I could see here. But um, there you, yeah, and you can, you can also attach a thing here if you wanted to dangle it. And um, uh, also, they they were kind enough to show you where you put the grab the on the side here. This is where you're supposed to actually put your fingers when you play. Though uh, we'll probably figure some other way to hold it because yes. uh, because if you, if you touch the track the trackpad, it will. Do things. Yes. Also, of course, the thing I didn't mention is that this thing has motion control in all senses. It's got a, the six axis controls in there. Yep, and it's also got uh, it's also got the three the three G elements if you have a three G phone. So you can uh, go, use online. Not this is not a phone. You can't call people with this, but you wish you could because this thing is sleek. Uh, and that in that notion, I think we have everything here. We've talked about in terms of actual uh, actual elements of this thing. Uh, and if I seem to have forgotten, I'll probably make note of it in the next video. So uh, we're gonna. Now we're gonna set this thing up. It's gonna take a lot longer than it was to set up the 3DS because the 3DS all we had to do was a couple things here and there. But now, now, the fun start begins. By that I mean I can try to figure out how to open this thing without breaking yeah, it. Yeah, there's like no instructions here. I mean, it's not even gonna tear here. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna let well, you. We're gonna we're gonna get back to you on that. So this is the PlayStation Vita. It's sleek. and we can see your face. Not anymore. Good.